Before I get started, I'd like to kindly ask that you hit the like button, and please subscribe to the channel for more content, just like this. All I'm offering is the truth, nothing more. First off, I just want to say I appreciate all the support that I've received over the past few days. I may have been physically out of commission, but all of your kind words really kept my spirits up. And honestly, it pushed me to getting back to doing what I do best, and that's being honest about the state of entertainment. And truthfully, a lot of shit happened over the past few days while I was out sick. So I had a lot of options as to what my first video was going to be about when I came back. And here we go. To me, the story that's been dominating my newsfeed and the one that I've been paying the most attention to is the controversy surrounding the Lord of the Rings Amazon TV series. So after soaking in all this information over the past few days, how do I feel about it? Well, let me start off by saying this. I would describe myself as a passing or casual fan in Lord of the Rings at best. In fact, I wouldn't even say that I'm a fan per se. I've never read any of the books. My only knowledge of the universe comes from the Peter Jackson Lord of the Rings trilogy. Three movies that I do believe are works of art from a pure cinematic standpoint. Oh, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. And you, you're always right. And I've always appreciated the love and effort that went into creating those movies. And to me, it's highlighted by the attention to detail and Peter Jackson's clear desire to show respect to the source material. So that brings me to the Lord of the Rings series that we've been getting first looks at over the past few days. Most of the conversation around this series involves the diversity of the cast and how that is not entirely accurate to the source material. No shit. There appears to be three types of people reacting to this show. There are people who are going to like it no matter what because Lord of the Rings is in the title. Those type of people exist in every fan base. There are people who will be advocates for this show just because it has a diverse cast. And they may not even be fans of the property itself. These to me are the people who like to call people racist when they bring up valid criticisms. And then there's a section of the fan base who just wants the source material to be adapted accurately. Fuck me, right? To be clear, everybody's entitled to their opinion, as for the people who only seem to be concerned about how diverse the cast is. I'd say these are the people who make it very difficult to have an intelligent conversation about anything. Someone once told me that representation is so important to some people that it really doesn't matter if it's done well or not. And I do believe that that is true. That makes sense. I've said this many times before, and I will continue to say it, most people do not have issues with diverse casts. Diversity in film casts, believe it or not, has existed long before the modern era. It's just that when it used to happen, people didn't make a big deal about it like they do now, and that's the difference. Because now, diversity takes precedence over things like story and character development. And when you have people like myself who just want to be entertained, that shit gets old quick. This is whack! I can't get jiggy with this shit! And this is the part of this that people seem to overlook in favor of just wanting to call people racist. If you created a new fantasy series and had the cast be diverse, no one would care. If you did a modern retelling of a classic fairy tale or fantasy like they did with Bright on Netflix, and it was made to be diverse, no one would care. It's when you take an established property and alter it to fit a 2022 agenda is when people start to take issue with things. That's what people don't get. It's not the diversity itself that's the problem. It's altering a beloved story or franchise for the sake of diversity that's the issue. Man, I'm tired of being right. It's disrespectful to the fans of that property. It's disrespectful to the person who created that property. And I just don't understand what people don't get about that. The executive producer of this show, Lindsay Weber, actually spoke to Vanity Fair about the casting choices for the Lord of the Rings series. She said, quote, It felt only natural to us that the adaptation of Tolkien's work would reflect what the world actually looked like. Well, I hate to break it to you, but longtime Lord of the Rings fans don't think it feels so natural. Not only does this quote basically confirm everything that I've been saying so far and that it's more about diversity than anything else, but it also makes no sense and actually ruins the illusion of escapism, which is why we watch these things to begin with. Why exactly does the world of Lord of the Rings need to look like our world? Uh, why? It is a fantasy, correct? By very definition, a fantasy is supposed to remove you from the real world. And I don't know about anyone else, but I never really understood the concept 
of needing to see someone who looks like me in a movie I'm watching in order to connect with it. In fact, when I watch movies, I typically gravitate towards people that do not look like me. That's why I view certain characters and people the way that I do. Because it's not about their race, it's about whether or not you are an interesting character or not. It seems to me that the people who are constantly focused on things like race, sexual orientation, or gender are typically doing more harm than they are good. Not to mention, I think this is getting overlooked, but Lord of the Rings is already pretty diverse. You have many different species and genders interacting with each other throughout the entire course of the story. It could actually already be a really strong metaphor for modern America. But the shallow people who produce this show are going to make it all about skin color, because that's the only form of diversity that actually matters, I guess. Get me a white boy! Get me a blonde hair white boy so I can enjoy that shit! I think it's almost disrespectful the way they use race as a crutch to basically make their show review proof because everyone knows you're not allowed to criticize anything with a diverse cast. And yes, I'm speaking from experience. If you don't believe me, go check out my Candyman 2021 comment section and you'll see what I mean. The media is to blame for a lot of this as well because they're basically just stirring the pot because they know what they're doing. They're looking for clicks as well because it's all part of the so they're going to turn around and try to portray Lord of the Rings fans as bigots. Haven't we seen this all before? There are actually members of the media that claim that Amazon is making the Lord of the Rings story that Peter Jackson and Tolkien either couldn't or wouldn't make. How egotistical, self-centered, and tone-deaf do you have to be to write something like that? To say that these masters of their craft need to move out of the way because they weren't doing it right. And Amazon's going to take over and show you how it's done. Fuck! You! Give me a break. All they're really doing is being lazy, per usual. Because no one is creative enough to invent their own Lord of the Rings like Tolkien did so many years ago. But they will take his beloved classic story and alter it as they see fit. All for the sake of gaining cultural brownie points. And for some reason people applaud them for this disingenuous tactic. As for the show itself, based on everything I've seen from trailers to screenshots, I haven't really been impressed with it aesthetically either. I don't care! Sure, there's some nice visuals, but nice visuals are a dime a dozen in modern entertainment. It's the story around those visuals that actually determine whether or not this is going to be a good show or not. And to me, for a show that is supposedly one of the most expensive ever made, if not the most expensive, I'm not really seeing how all that money is being properly utilized. In fact, a lot of what I've seen so far actually looks kind of cheap and mostly cosplayish to me. So for me, this show has an uphill battle as far as convincing me that it's going to be worthwhile, which is Amazon's job, by the way. Convince me. But damn right, that's the only way I work, Cap. I want to finish this off by once again destroying the narrative that negativity is toxic. Because negativity oftentimes comes from a place of passion. So don't ever let anyone ever silence you from talking about something that you really care about. Continue to speak up. The real reason they have issue with you doing that is because you care more than they do. You lose! Good day, sir! So let me know what you thought about all this in the comments down below. As always, please like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time right here on Real Shift. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Y'all be cool. Right on.